Okay, so this is me bringing them in. I decided to do a voiceover because it sounds better. Surprisingly, the box I'm lifting is heavy. It's got the metal stuff in it. This box, which seems bigger, is actually lighter. Not too bad. You can do it alone if you have, I guess, some level of fitness. So that's one level. It's going to go downstairs with the treadmill. So I'll just carefully bring it down. The straps are pretty strong. They hold pretty tight. They do the job. And here comes the other half. This gives you maybe a gauge of its size. Split foyer home. And now I'm ready to collapse. Oh, wait, I got work to do. All right, there's the spot. It's a 49 inch by two, two and a half foot wide mat. Here are the boxes set up. They're pretty easily labeled. Open this box first. Open box two first. Okay, I guess that's box two. Here's my assistant. She's gonna help me by sleeping. Here we go. The moment of truth. A sharp blade is always nice to have. I carry one always. And now we're going to cut the first box. Oh, wait. There, that's the first box. That one. Here it is opened. Looks like a mess. And it's kind of a mess. There's a lot of stuff in there. And uh, it does take time to clear out and figure out what it's what is what. Fun stuff. And then here it is laid out. I always recommend laying the stuff out. I'm pretty good at putting stuff together. Take your time, follow the directions, lay the stuff out so you know where what is and what's what. This is very helpful for me. And then here is the big machine. There's your tools. Everything's labeled. I would recommend opening that thing. This thing I put up on its side because on the bottom is on a, like a piece of wood. Now they give you Allen wrenches. Again, I recommend if you have your own, use them. See how small that one is? Easier to use in some points than the one they give you. Same size. Made my life a little easier, but I did give uh, some blood to the assembly gods today. I always do. And there it is. 90 minutes later, about. Um, not too hard to put together, I didn't think. Pretty compact. Looks pretty good to me. I had to set it up, and uh, once you do that, you are ready to roll, or whatever. Just started, 13 minutes, 13 seconds left. I was a little slow off the gate because I didn't realize I had to go. <laughs> but in the um, recover zone, 48 seconds left, so far so good. Feels smooth, it's not loud. Hopefully you can hear me just fine, because the other part of this video was all done voiceovers. Because the uh, sound is never great. So, I'm just going to do a tidbit here, like a minute or two. When I get back to the burn level. It took about 90 minutes to put this thing together. It feels smooth. 16 seconds left to hit the hard stuff. I got my hands... I guess you gotta go a little higher if you wanna work your upper. So I've got my hands a little high on this thing. Alright, here we go. And up. It's a good thing I run. It's short too, it's only line eight seven. Six, five, four, three, two, one. Back down to the top of the green zone. All right, well, I'm sure this is exciting to watch. I'm gonna go turn this off and fill you in when I'm done. This is what I see. Your, your, your things. I would have both hands on it, but I'm trying to take a video. All right, we're back on it. Here we go. Okay, 
13 some seconds later, 13 minutes and some seconds later, here I am, wet, sweaty, and pretty war. I did the first 15 minute workout, this is an M7, so it's supposed to learn your workout, and I guess my endurance and all that stuff. It was a low setting, it was like a resistance level of one, I knocked it up to a two, 10 minutes in, I didn't realize, so <sighs> we'll see what that means, but first workout, good workout. Says I burned 135 calories, not too bad in 14 minutes. Might jump on the treadmill there. Just for a mile. Uh, that's it. Easy on my ankle, which is sore, no pain at all. Uh, no other pain anywhere. My legs are a little tight, but that's because I don't usually do this type of machine. So, <sighs> thumbs up.